my name is Amanda and today I thought I would do a haul for you. I really wanted to show you some or all of the things that I have recently brought from my New Zealand holiday. So I'm calling this video a New Zealand souvenir haul so I hope you enjoy seeing the stuff that I got. Before we continue on I've just got a bit of a head cold so I'm a little bit nasally, I might be a bit sniffly, I might sneeze so just be aware. I don't know what's going to happen. It's all just a little bit unpredictable at the moment. Oh my god, it's so heavy. So I have a really big brown paper bag here full of, uh, full of stuff that I bought from New Zealand. So I'm just going to go through it and show you what I got. So as I just mentioned, I'm just going to be grabbing things out randomly and I'll let you know as we go along where I bought them. So the first thing is I did the typical touristy thing and I bought some magnets. These are some, uh, I don't think they're wooden, actually I don't really know what they're made of, but they're just some really awesome fridge magnets and I went for the real traditional sort of designs. So there's a little jade kiwi thing, a map of New Zealand and then also a Maori hut or house. I just really liked them because they were really quite old school and not like too funky or yeah. I just wanted something that was like simple New Zealand touristy thing. So that's what I got there. Next up is a really, I actually forgot I bought this. I mean, majority of this stuff, I'm going to say, oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. Next up is a really lovely calico pouch that I got while we were in Akaroa. And it has a really gorgeous little Maori girl on the front. And she's in traditional dress. And she has uh, two little poise on the side of her dress. And I just thought she was really gorgeous. It's just a really basic uh, little zipper pouch. And uh, I'll definitely find a... Oh, I just... Re oh my gosh, I've just realised that it has a little squared out bottom as well. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realise it was like that. Oh, nice. But yeah, I would definitely find a use for that. I just thought it was really cute. Next up is the little pin that I bought while we were in Wellington. When we went to that museum, I did mention it in the vlog. This is the thing that I bought from there. And it is a really gorgeous geometric pin. This is a native flower of New Zealand. And I'm going to attempt to pronounce it. It is called the Pohutukawa. Pohutukawa. Trick is to say it really fast and it sounds as if like you know what you're talking about. The Hutu Kawa flower and it is a native flower to New Zealand and you know I'm a florist, I love flowers, I love geometric stuff and it just sort of screamed at me so um, I picked it up and I love it. While we were in Bay of Islands which was our last port I also picked up another item that has the native flower on it and it's a really cute little cosmetic bag. I really don't need any more of these sort of pouch baggy things but I just got it because of the design. I love, I mean I wish this was fabric. I mean if this was fabric sold by the meter at work or if it was like a fat quarter or something I, I'd, I'd, buy, I'd buy it all and make a quilt out of it. I just really love this pattern and so I just I, I just got the bag just for the pattern. That's it. It is a cosmetic bag so you can use it as like a wash bag or whatever but you know I'll, I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll add it to the collection of all the other bags that I have but yeah I just got it for the print because it's gorgeous. Next up is a beautiful scarf that I also picked up while we were in uh, Bay of Islands. It is by a brand called Alice and Lily. I don't know whether that's a Kiwi brand or what, I don't know. But it's, it is so beautiful and soft and luxurious. And it has this beautiful polka dot pattern on it. You know, I love a good spotty polka dotty print. Whoa! And I love the differences in the sizes. And it's a really good sized scarf. Like it just kind of, kind of keeps going if we wrap it around so it kind of looks a bit like that it's a bit hard to see oh yeah oh here we go give myself some bat wings Wee! yeah I just really love it as soon as I saw it I was like oh perfect and it's a great color the black and gray so I can wear it with anything I've got to take it off though it's not quite winter yet it's a very hot muggy evening so 
it doesn't really feel all that comfortable at the moment so just fold that nicely thank you when I'm souvenir shopping one of the things that I look for are objects that are going to be useful and that I'm always going to sort of need and use and find like like it's going to be worth the money so that's why I buy like scarves and like um pout like little pouches and stuff like that. This one I am definitely going to be using at least for the next 12 months and it's a beautiful calendar. I mean who'd have thought I'd go to New Zealand and buy a calendar. I got this from a store in Akaroa and it, it's just a beautiful illustrated calendar that just really took my eye and it has some really beautiful sayings and like quotes and things on the back for each month. So for example September says think happy be happy and I really like that sort of like sayings in and around the place and just just for inspiration and and just to sort of keep the pep up and you know the one for January which I'm gonna have to put up because it's only a couple more days until the end of January can you believe it the January one says make today ridiculously amazing I love that what a great you know, positive spin to the day. Another item that I purchased while I was in Akaroa, along with the calendar, was a really lovely candle. It was one of the main souvenirs that I really wanted to purchase while we were away. Like, my dad collects spoons and little enamel badges. My friend Donna, who I was travelling with, was collecting shot glasses for her daughter. I really wanted to get a candle. So I spent a ridiculous amount of money on this candle. It actually turned out cheaper when the conversion rate of our dollar compared to the New Zealand dollar went through, but it's still quite expensive. I wouldn't pay that much money for a candle in Australia. But anyway, it is this candle here. The brand is Woodwick. It crackles as it burns, and this one is Vanilla Bean. There was about three that I was tossing up between, and with the help of my mum, we whittled it down to vanilla. Vanilla scents are very much my safe scent. If I can't make up my mind on a fragrance that I love the most, but there is a really lovely, beautiful vanilla choice, I'll just go for the vanilla. And that's what sort of happened with this candle. It has a really odd sort of wick. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I forgot what it smelled like. With my blocked nose, I can still smell it. And it's beautiful. It's just this beautiful, warm vanilla scent. And this candle will always remind me of when we were shopping in Akaroa. So once I got my candle, I just I just went for the clappers on everything else and you'll see as we go along, there's lots of stuff. Next I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got from Hobbiton. I'm going to tell you now, I was actually kind of disappointed in a lot of the stuff that they were selling at the gift shop at Hobbiton. There wasn't a very big selection, I thought it was going to be like tons of stuff, but it wasn't and it was pretty expensive as well, which was disappointing but that it doesn't mean that I didn't spend. So first of all I just picked up two sticker sets and they just have the scenes from Hobbiton so these ones are just in squares or rectangles and these ones are just little ovals of each of, of a couple of the doors and there's a sign there saying Green Dragon and Hobbiton and these ones just have Bag End the Green Dragon and just another sort of scene of Hobbiton. You know I love a good sticker love a good sticker. I also picked up a pint glass that actually says the Lord of the Rings and then on the back of it it has the inscription that is actually on the ring. That is what it looks like. It's, it's, it's actually a pretty big glass to be honest and I will use this. I actually wanted a, a glass you know just to just to use every day so I'm gonna use that. One glass to rule them all one glass to bind them. I'm not going to go on. The next thing that I got from Hobbiton I think has to be my favourite thing and it just makes me like, yeah, just makes me feel, I don't know, it just makes me giggle every time I see it. And I got one of these. It's the sign that's on Bilbo's uh, gate. It says, no admittance except on party business. I wasn't going to get one of these. I saw them in the gift shop and I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. But then like on a whim, because we had to wait forever in line, I'm like, oh, it was like one of those, you know, um, what is it? I just, I just got it because I was standing there looking at it forever. I'm like, just buy it and you'll regret it. And so I got it. Really cool. Then the last thing that I 
brought from Hobbiton is a really big oversized hoodie. Yeah! It has Bilbo's door as the logo with Hobbiton and then where the film set is which is in Manamata, New Zealand. So that's on the front and then on the back of the hoodie it has a big huge dot. That is another thing that I will be wearing a lot when the weather cools down a little bit more. But at the moment I'm just going to have to wait. I have tried it on and it's, it's big and snuggly and lovely and I love it so much so I'm very happy with that. These next two items I bought while we were in Auckland and the first one is a little dish and it has a little fantail bird on it which I'm pretty sure is I think it's a native bird of New Zealand I'm not sure but this design was pretty much on everything so I'm assuming it's a bird that's popular in New Zealand. Again I just really liked this beautiful geometric design it was and I have a really big thing for this for this shade of pink at the moment. It's like a really lovely blush pink, but not, I don't know, I just really like it. And you know, who doesn't need another trinket dish cluttering up their, their space? And then, like any good tourist, I bought a tea towel. And I really loved the design of this one. I don't know whether to get it out of the plastic, but again, it's a beautiful Maori girl. And actually, yeah, we'll get it out. Um, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get it out. It's just a lot easier. It's this beautiful fabric, but it's a it's a really lovely print of a Maori girl. And there's two little kiwis to the side, and then there's a Maori hut in the background. I just really love the print. I saw it in the shop window, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that. Oh, it says New Zealand down the bottom. I never saw that. Awesome! Wondering if I ever move out of my parents' house, that will be going in my kitchen. I really love this fabric. It's like a linen type mottled fabric. It's just lovely. Oh my gosh. I've totally forgotten just how much stuff I bought. So much stuff is just so unnecessary. Next up I have got a tote bag. This is designed in New Zealand. Oh, it has an interior pocket. I didn't know that. Cool! One of these things you find out when you get home. So it has a really lovely design on it. I'm pretty sure it's a native bird of some sort. But again, I just really liked the print. I really loved the design. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. I got this when we went to the little museum which is next to the cable car in Wellington. That's where I got this. And is it going to tell me what it actually is? I don't know what that bird is. If you are from New Zealand and are watching this and know what that bird is, comment down below because I'd like to know. So I'm going to use this for when I go to work. I have a whole range of canvas bags that I use for everything. For when I take my lunch to work, when I go shopping, when I take embroideries places, like I use canvas tote bags or canvas bags or whatever everywhere so I'm just gonna add this to the collection and use it when I see fit so now I'm gonna move on to all of the food stuff that I brought from Kiwi land first of all I bought some tea I mean you know I'm a tea lover I see a, a tea from another country I'm gonna try it this one is called tea leaf the brand is called tea leaf and it is called Wellington Breakfast and I brought this while we were in Wellington so you know it all works this is Assam Black Estate Tea I specifically got tea bags because tea bags are just a lot easier to use and I'm just going to read out the little blurb to let you know what it's going to be like so Wellingtonians like a good strong tea to stand up to the job of living in one of the world's windiest cities this brew delivers a strong and flavoursome breakfast tea. So I can't wait to try this. I actually haven't had a look at what's inside. Oh, that's the little pouch that's on the inside. And it's just black tea. Ingredients say black tea. So I will let you know how that tastes and whether I like it or not. Now I'm going to try and get it back in the tin. Most of you might not know this fact, but I am a huge fan of aioli. I love having aioli with salads, on sandwiches, when I'm eating fish and chips. I love a good garlic aioli. 
and what do you think I found while I was in New Zealand? A kiwi aioli. Oh, I got them to wrap it up in bubble wrap because I'm like, I don't know how well that's going to go traveling back to Australia. So I have to try to open it. This is a brand called Wild Country and it is New Zealand garlic aioli. So it's been made in Hamilton, New Zealand and it says aioli is a style of mayonnaise. It can be used as a sandwich spread added to guacamole mashed with boiled eggs or as an accompaniment to meat, chicken and fish. Enjoy! And it says that it is made in New Zealand so I cannot wait to try this as a huge aioli fan. Mmm! Yum yum. And then another New Zealand product that I got was some chocolate. This is uh, by a brand called Donovan's. It is New Zealand Premium Manuka Honeycomb Chocolate. Ooh. This along with the aioli I bought while we were in Akaroa. Yeah, Akaroa. Yeah, I brought these while we were in Akaroa as well. So this one, it says that it's 35% cocoa milk chocolate. They've combined the finest quality cocoa with sweet manuka honey, crunchy honeycomb pieces, and a dash of kiwi cleverness to create this delectable manuka honeycomb milk chocolate. So, can't wait to try that one. And then, of course, if you have watched my vlogs, you'll know that we went to Dunedin and we went and visited the Cadbury factory. We didn't actually do a tour, I don't think they do tours anymore, but we did go to the retail store and I bought a big, Ooh, even got a bag, another canvas bag. So this one just says, I love Cadbury World and there is just a ton of chocolate in here. I did give you a bit of a peek of some of the stuff that I did buy in that vlog, uh, but I'm just going to go through them anyway. Hopefully they haven't melted because since we've got home, it's been very hot and these have just been sitting in my room. So I just got some um, whole nut hazelnut chocolate. I also bought some Jaffers. They're an orange chocolate ball. Almost like a Terry's chocolate but with a crunchy shell. I've got some chocolate buttons. And then I got a whole ton of like... I don't know what, what you call these, bars? Are they a bar? Yeah, they were very cheap, so don't judge me, okay? These were a whole lot cheaper than what they are in Australia, so, you know, these will last me up all year, maybe six months, maybe three months. You know, I, know. I got all my favourites, like, you know, can't go wrong. I got Fruit and Nut, Rocky Road, Hazelnut, which is my favourite, Caramello, Turkish Delight, another favourite, Salted Caramel, Top Deck, and just the original Dairy Milk. Then the last foodie items that I got were from a shop in Auckland, New Zealand, called the London Lolly Shop. So, you know, you can only imagine what was in the London Lolly Shop. It was just a shop full of British candies and sweeties and chocolates and stuff. So I got some more chocolate. <laughs> These are Terry's Chocolate Orange Mini Toffee Crunch. I actually got two packets of this. I've already eaten the other one. I ate that while we were on board, but uh, I got those ones. And then I just brought two packets of sweeties or lollies. I got some Coca-Cola bottles. Harking back to my school days. Love these. And then some sour worms. They call them sugar-coated glow worms. So I think they're sour. I don't know, but I'm sure I'll enjoy them anyway. And then the last two items that I have to share with you are two things that I brought while I was on board in the boutiques on the ship. And these are both duty-free items. Uh, so first of all, I've stocked up on my favourite fragrance, which is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. The bottle that I have at the moment is, like, near empty. So I'm like, perfect time to be going on a cruise, because this is the only time I ever buy perfume, is when I go duty-free shopping on board. And then I spoilt myself with a bag. Uh, this is a fossil uh, bag. It has really cute little tassels. Um, I think it's the coloured tassels that sold me. It's just a really simple across the body bag. I don't have a bag that's really this small, that's kind of dressy, and that I can also use for just everyday sort of shopping and stuff. So it just has a little pocket at the front here, which is like great for keys or for the phone. And then it has a little zippy bit here. Oh, big thing. I mean, it's full of packaging at the moment, but it has a uh, pocket in here 
and then a nice big area in here for whatever and then a zippy bit at the back there and it has a really generous size uh, strap for across the body that is adjustable and yeah I just really like it I really love this sort of grey brownie type fabric I just really love the texture of it and it's just something that I never really go for yeah I just really liked it what can I say so that is my New Zealand souvenir haul done. I'm very happy with the stuff that I bought. A lot of the stuff I will either eat or use in everyday life, which is the kind of stuff that I like. I can either eat it or use it, you know. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I picked up on my New Zealand trip. Thank you all so much for all of your lovely comments on my previous vlogs from my holiday. I know it's sort of content that I don't really make all that often. Since doing Vlogmas, I've really loved vlogging and sort of filming everyday life and things that I'm up to. So it's definitely going to be more content that I will be doing this year, along with my tutorials and stuff like that. Don't worry, I will be doing lots more sewing and crafty tutorials as well as vlogs. I'm just sort of really exploring some new content making and yeah just just being a little bit more confident in, in, in doing more things for the channel. So I hope that you will stick around and see some of the things that I do this year. So my friends thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon. Bye!